Our guest today here on All In with Brian Weatherford checks a lot of the boxes that we have on our favorite type of guest list. Let me tell you where we start. Here's someone that was doing a great job in her own right in the corporate world. She started doing something on the side a little bit as a hobby. Then she got a little better at it. It became a side hustle, if you will, to pick up some extra revenue. And it finally got to the point to where she realized, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to become an entrepreneur. I'm going to work for myself. That's always exciting around here, and today is certainly no exception. The name of the company we're chatting with today is Face Painting by Tiffany, and Tiffany herself, my guest, Tiffany Davila, right here on the show. Tiffany, how are you? So good to see you. How are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> well, I, I can tell you're an artist just by looking at your background there. That's absolutely stunning. I would expect nothing less. So it's already off to an exciting start, but I want to back up a little bit before you got to where you are today as a small business owner, entrepreneur, if you will, go back to what I was just talking about. You were working in the corporate world and kind of learned how to do this stuff on the side. Can you walk us through the process of how you got from doing this as a hobby to doing it as a full-time business? Yeah, so I have my hair license, um, fully licensed cosmetologist. So i am got my hair and my makeup and I got into that for a while. And then I started finding my faith through my church and they kind of was like, Hey, do you do face painting? And I said, no, but I can definitely give it a shot. And so I started doing outreach programs and started doing Oktoberfest and then doing the Oktoberfest opened the window to people asking me if I do parties, do I do events? And I kind of looked at it like, this is something that could go somewhere. And it just kind of got me back into um, painting, but not on like the canvas spectrum on the body and the kids were just into it. And I just, I fell in love with it. And it kind of just opened my world to being something that I get to, you know, go party with other people's kids and then go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the best of both worlds. I mean, even, even in your hairdresser days, you were in the business of putting smiles on people's faces by doing their hair. But now yeah. you've elevated that to the nth degree, putting smiles on people's faces, not just literally the faces, but the people that get to interact with their kids, their loved one as well. I mean, what a, what a great opportunity. And I want to back up one more time. You mentioned going back to art. So little Tiffany back in the day, have you always been into art and painting and drawing yes. and whatnot? Yes, yes. Um, my dad is a retired wedding photographer, so I was into photography for a long time. I painted. I mean, it's always just been in my blood that I've always been crafty and just had that extra thing that wanted, you know, I made something. So it was just... Well, I, I got to say, we, we talked to a lot, a lot of artists on the show, but there's a lot more artists who maybe they're really good at art, but turning it into a business is a different situation. You've yes. been able to do both. And I'm just curious, when you finally decided to turn this into a business, no doubt you're really good at the art part. Did the business part throw you off a little bit? Were there some things you needed to learn as far as being a business owner? Yes. Um, you know, the, the marketing part of it, um, the... You know, am I going to be able to make ends meet doing this? How hard do I have to push myself? Um, and then it was, you know, networking with other people within my community and other people within the art world. And there's definitely a lot of artists around the world that I've met and have learned so much from. And that was just another thing that I loved about this, this, this platform. Well, I got to say, Tiffany, the one thing that I've noticed, one of many doing the show, talking to entrepreneurs just like yourself, the network is so important. And it could be the network, not just to finding yeah. customers, but to get advice from other business owners who, frankly, maybe they've already made some mistakes and they can stop you before you do the same thing. So that's it's great to hear you went that route. Now then, we've just been talking about face painting. That's not the only service you offer with your company. Give me, give me some more things you can do. No, sir. I, um, once I went full time, I, I realized that I couldn't just do face painting alone. So I got into, um, balloon twisting. So like balloon art, balloon animals, all that stuff, a little bit of decor here and there. And then I also got into airbrush tattoos and airbrushing, um, like body painting. So I've been doing a lot of my 
airbrush tattoos look like real tattoos, but they're not. They're completely washable. They come off the skin within a couple days if you really want them to make it last a little bit longer. Well, so, so what types of events do you do? I mean, obviously you do birthday parties, but give me some more things that people might be interested in hiring you and your company for. Absolutely. Um, I've done street fairs, school carnivals. Um, I've done the farmer's market in Huntington Beach um, up until a year ago when they closed all the non-essential vendors down. Um, I've done, oh gosh, um, right now I'm getting into doing drive through balloon twisting for car like church carnivals, Oktoberfests. I mean, I've done a lot of events that have put me out in the front of the community and I really appreciate the uh, customers that remember me still through this, <laughs> all this other stuff. <laughs> Oh, they're going to remember you, and I would have to think from a business slash marketing standpoint, if you're doing a street festival, for example, it's an ideal opportunity to talk to that mom or that child about your birthday parties as well. Is that Does everything kind of, kind of build off of itself? You get a reputation, you're doing one thing, but then they say, hey, can you come to the house for our birthday party next month? Does that work for you? Yes. Absolutely, yes. Well, and I bring all the happiness that you see at the street fair, I bring the party. Yeah, and another thing that a lot of people don't think about, I'm going to the corporate side of things. Corporate people, grown-ups, they like to have face painting too, but there's a lot of companies, when they have a corporate event, they're always looking for something for the kids to do, to entertain the yes. kids. What a wonderful list of services you provide. I'm guessing you probably do some corporate picnics and whatnot. And if you're not doing yes. them now, hopefully as we continue to get through what we've been going through, they're going to come back for you. Is that fair enough? Yeah. Um, I've got a lot of uh, companies that I've done um, not face painting with, but I've done airbrush tattoos for like picnics, um, promotional type events when they're doing grand openings. So once those things start coming back into play, I'll be able to offer those services again and have some fun with the people coming in to their business. You know, maybe you could even do, uh, here, here you go, here's a freebie I'm going to give you. Maybe you can start doing tailgating parties at football games <laughs> yes. and, and, and put the school up. Maybe you're already doing that. Have you done that before? No, they just opened up the new stadium in L.A. for the Rams, so I haven't even had an opportunity to go check it out yet. Well, I think it's safe to say whatever you do, you had no idea, little Tiffany, back in the day when you were learning about photography from your dad or playing around with crayons and you probably had no idea that here you are just a few years later since you were a kid having your yeah. own business doing these things but what an exciting business to where your sole purpose is to put smiles on people's faces that's got to make you feel good doesn't it oh yes absolutely and that mere moment once i'm done face painting a kid is just my biggest thrill in life it's just seeing their reaction in the mirror and they're like oh my gosh that's the one reason why I just, I had to get into this. Yeah, I'm gonna put you on the spot here just for a sec, we're about out of time, but when you've got kids lined up and you give them some uh, options of say a different type of animal, is there one animal that's more popular than all the other animals per se, if you're gonna paint their face to look like that? Oh yes, it's, it's definitely what's going on in the industry with movies and so forth that really gears my business and what the kids want. So whatever's popular, you know, but then you get the animals, the tigers, the butterflies, sure. you know, all that other stuff. Video games reflect a lot of what I do as well, too. Well, see, so you're always having to, to, to be learning. I guess you have to keep up with what's the next hottest trend. But we know this, whatever that hottest trend is, you'll be ready to roll as soon as they're ready to have it. It doesn't matter Absolutely. whether it's a corporate event, a street festival or whatever. Face Painting by Tiffany is there to help. Thank you much for your story. I appreciate it. Continue, Thank you so much, too. You have a great day. Maybe we'll catch you at a Ram game soon. Take care. Yes. <laughs>